Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. My name is Paul and as always, taking you through today's workout. Today we have a hybrid hit and strength workout. What I mean by that is one strength exercise with set amount of repetitions, followed by a hit component for one minute. Then we're gonna follow that up with about a 45 second to a one minute rest period. So, set of dumbbells or two, it's up to you. Find challenging weights. I want you to push yourself on the strength part of the workout. Anyway, let's get going. We're gonna start off with 10 slow push-ups right into one minute of floor punches. You guys ready to go? 10 slow push-ups, nice and slow, nice long count on the way up and then explode. Nice long count on the way down, I should say, and then explode on the way up. You guys ready to go? In three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it and up, and that's one push-up. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it, and that's two. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, four. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it, and that's five, we're halfway, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it, and that's six. When I'm holding it, I'm actually not touching the ground. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Three more. One, two, three, four, five, eight, Two more. One, two, three, four, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, and ten. Straight to floor punches. One minute. Ready? And let's go. So each one minute intervals are pretty approximate. I just have a clock running. And I'm trying to remember where we started and then where we're going and where we want to be stopping. One minute of this. I'm using 15 pounds for this. This minute is a long time. Work with me, come on. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds left. seconds to go or so keep it up five three two one and weights down and now we rest for about like I said 45 seconds to a minute so that was set number one and we have six sets like that same type of stuff exercise followed by a minute of a high intensity type of cardio movement. During the high intensity type of cardio movement, I want you guys to go as hard as you can. As you can tell, I always say my workouts are your workouts. I'm out of breath. I'm gonna do the best that I can for myself and for you. Sometimes I fail, because you know, I never wanna just come down here in the basement, just film a video for the sake of filming a video. I wanna get a workout in with you. So yes, my arms are pretty pumped up right now. My chest is pretty pumped up from doing those slow push-ups. So now we're gonna move on to 20 goblet squats, followed by high knees. Depending on your fitness level, your high knees could be walking high knees, or running high knees, or you can just jog in place as fast as you can. But some kind of a running in place component. All right, 20 goblet squats. I'm gonna grab my 30s for this one, and we're going for 20, no rush on these either, all right? You guys ready to go? Three, two, one, let's go. Down and up, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Quarter of a way day, hey, there we go. Six, let's go. Seven, eight, 
Make it burn on the way down. Nine. And 10. Halfway, one. Two. Three. Four. Five, five left. One. Two, three more. One. Two, last one. And three, we're going straight into high knees. One minute. Let's go, run with me. That's as high as my knees go, okay? Here we go. If you're doing better than me, go for it. Remember, we've got one minute left. Running in place with the highest knees that we can. Let the heart rate skyrocket. Come on. Work it, work it, work it. Keep it up. About 25, 30 seconds left. Fifteen seconds. Let's go. High knees, higher, higher, faster. Come on. Five seconds. Two, one, and take it easy. Woo. How you guys doing? I'm having a good workout. I'm having a good time. Catch my breath, and we're moving on. Now we're moving on a little bit of bicep work. I'm gonna use 15s for this. They might be a little heavy. Gonna do the best that we can on these. If you have something a little bit lighter for these static curls, go for it if you're stronger than me. Grab some 15s, something heavier. So static curl is gonna work like this. I'm gonna bring up both arms. I'm gonna do one arm at a time for 12 reps. Then keep this arm steady and do the other arm for 12 reps. However, we're going to do this for three sets. So like I said, arms are going to be constantly working either in the static position or in the active position for three sets of each. All right, I'm going to grab the 15s. Might be a little bit ambitious. Here we go. Ready in three, two, one, both arms up and let's go. Work one, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, Ten, one, and up and switch. Just set number two. One, two, three. Come on. Four. Good posture. I gotta remind myself. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? One, and switch. Hold it. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? One, and switch for the final time. Well, second final time. This is the third set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let it burn. Ten. Ready? One, and switch. Now the final time. Ready? One. 12 reps, we're done. Two, three, burns, burns good. Four, nice. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, and two. And we're going straight into one minute of jump squats. You guys ready to go? Let's go down, 
and up. Nice landing. Down and up. Down. Up. Soft landings. And explode up. That's all I want to see. Good effort. And up. Explode up. Come on. And up. Keep it up. 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds left or so. Down and up. Down and up. Come on, down, up. 15 seconds left, keep it up. Little plyometric work. By all means, if you couldn't jump, oh, you can't jump. Last one, don't jump. All right, we're halfway down this workout. We're about 10 minutes in. Take a little break. Now we're going core. We're going 25 sit-ups. 25 sit-ups done. Flip over, mountain climb position. One minute of mountain climbers. Let's give ourselves another 30 seconds or so. Catch our breath, grab a drink of water if you have to, and we'll get moving. When you're resting right now, I don't want you laying down on the ground. This should be an active rest. Stand up, do exactly what I'm doing. Move around, walk around. Don't sit down, don't lay down. I don't care how tired you are, get your ass up and start moving. All right, let's get going in about 10 seconds. So now you can start getting down on the ground. Remember, going for 25 sit-ups. Try to press that lower back against the floor when you're on the ground. Don't arch your back too much. I don't care what you do with your arms. I don't care if they're behind your head, in front of you, on the sides of you. I don't care if you're holding your weight or not. You guys ready to go? For 25 sit-ups, remember, followed by a set of one minute of mountain climbers. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, all the way down, five, Six, seven, keep it up. Eight, come on. Nine, 10, one, come on, two, halfway done. Nine. That's 20, we got five more. Keep it up. One. Two. Three. One. One more, and then we flip over. Two. All right, let's flip over. I'm gonna flip over so I can see the clock. One minute, let's go. Keep it up. Thirty seconds left or so. A little less, a little more. No idea. Just stop when I stop. I'll try not to cheat you too much. Come on. Twenty seconds to go. Come on, faster, faster, move it. Ten seconds. Come on. Two, one, and relax. All right, we'll take another break. We're eight exercises in. We have four exercises left. So yes, do pardon me for breathing heavy, but like I said, I am working out with you. All right, next exercise. 
We're gonna do 12 Renegade rows, followed by one minute of skaters. So let me get, get myself a little room. So skaters go from side to side. So I'm using the 30 for the 30 pound weights for the Renegade rows. I wanna make the row heavy so you actually are working that back muscle. Don't just use light weights. Do something that's gonna challenge you for those 12 repetitions. So we're gonna go row, push up, row. That's one. Then you're gonna start on the other side, however you wanna start it. Each push up is a repetition. And the push up is in between the rows. Like I said, going heavy, might be too heavy, but you know what? You never know until you try. Let me set up this way so you can somewhat see me. All right, you guys ready to go? Remember, row, push up, row. That's one. All right, every push up is a rep. I like doing push ups on dumbbells because I get a full range of motion because I get all the way down to the ground. I'm already three inches off the ground. All right, stop talking, Paul. Start working. You guys ready? Plank position. Three, two, one, let's go. Row. Push up. Row. That's one. Push up. Row. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one more, and roll, and twelve. All right, skaters, one minute, and let's go. Move quickly, move swiftly. Come on. Jump with me. Work it, work it, move it. Come on. it up 10 seconds left I think that's what we're doing anyway let's go stop when I stop don't look at the clock last jump and we're done all right time to catch our breath we have two exercises left guys they're both going to be core I know some of you love finishing with core exercises so why not so grab something you're going to need a weight well, something to grab behind your head. If not, you can always support your back with the arms. And just don't put the arms over your head, which is quite all right. We're gonna do some candlesticks, followed by mountain jacks for a minute. So we got 35, sorry, I'm putting my weight away. A little house cleaning while I rest. Good active rest. Bend down, pick up weight, bend down, put it back. Like I said, active rest. Today is active rest, and it's always active rest. It's never plop down on the ground and catch your breath. You can do that after the workout, after your five minute active rest. All right, 35 candlesticks. It's gonna be legs up in the air, crunched together, shooting them up into the air, followed by one minute of mountain jacks. Whew. Gotta make sure I get enough room. It looks like I do. Possibly it's one way to find out. Lay down and start working. All right. Okay, here we go. So once you curl up, your legs just stay up and just keep on pointing towards the ceiling, all right? Three, two, one. Legs out and up. Just go like this. One, two, three, four. Let's try as high as Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, 
10. Keep it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 15 left. 1, come on. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Five left, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. All right, flip on over, mountain jacks. One minute, give myself a little room. All right, let's go, ready? Let's go. Jump. Jump, jump around, come on guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. And don't know why I'm counting. Keep it up. 40 seconds left with 20 in. Last exercise, good effort. Keep jumping, keep moving. Fifteen seconds or so left. Five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. Whew. All right, we are back, and we are doing active recovery once again, moving around. So for me, this was just over. I believe 200 calories in about 20 or 21 minutes. So you guys know, I am about 5'8", about 180 pounds, obviously male. Um, that's the amount of calories you burn. This is gonna vary for everybody. But just so you know, it's not 1,000 calories, it's not 1,500 in 20 minutes, it's 200. But anyway, thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50. My name is Paul, don't forget, Workouts do come out every Monday and every Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed this break the sweat with me. Now I hope to see you during the next workout.